The book basically chronicles my life from a very young boy to adulthood and uh, the duality of what I had to deal with as recognizing at a very young age that I was gay, not even knowing what that word meant, but just I usually call it different, and, uh, and all of the negative uh, uh, influences that affected me and, and my self-esteem growing up as a young boy. I told my brother when I was 20 that I was gay. I had told my sister she thought it was a phase. And my brother's remark was, oh, now I know why you acted the way you were, <laughs> whatever that meant. Hopefully there'll be a parent out there who will read this book or a kid will understand. Even if that doesn't happen, you know, don't recriminate your parents. They only know what they know. But on the other hand, don't let them beat you don't down and think that there's something wrong. As years went by, I will admit that it start, started to tear at me because the, the fact is that I could not be my authentic self. And uh, it was starting to, I was starting to get pretty angry. Part of the problem is, we, we, as, we, as we began to become more famous or, or, or start to travel, you know, I, my idea was I didn't see any gay guys who had any record contracts. I didn't dare say that I was gay, otherwise we, they would get no contracts. I wasn't ready to quit my career, and uh, I was concerned that if we lost one, one record sell, someone would turn around and say, it's your fault. And that always was in the back of my mind. It's one thing to tell your mom and dad, guess what, I'm gay. It's another thing to tell 54 million fans, I'm not only gay, but I also have HIV. Now, that takes a huge, that takes courage and, and risk. But I said, you know what, if I don't put a face to this disease, if I don't stand up for what I believe, then who will?